We are joined right now by Massachusetts State Senator Julian Sear. He's a public information officer for the Cape Cod COVID Task Force. Thank you for being here. So, Good Julian, morning, Candace. Thank you for having me. Good morning. So, Julian, you had the Delta variant that has been detected in, in Provincetown and that cluster that was associated with vaccinated people. So are requiring masks indoors, does that seem logical? When I know from personally, a lot of the people who were there for July 4th were at outdoor only events and still came back with breakthrough COVID. So um, Provincetown's a, a very interesting uh, example here of what's going on. Um, Provincetown is the best vaccinated community uh, in Massachusetts. I should say Massachusetts really leads the nation in, in larger states. I think we're third after Vermont and Hawaii in our vaccination rate. Uh, Cape Cod leads Massachusetts in vaccination and Provincetown um, is the best vaccinated community in the state. Uh, and what really happened here was actually not a large number of unvaccinated people visiting, just a small number of people who are unvaccinated uh, in dense environments, both in, in private settings and, and in public venues. Uh, and it seems that just a few highly contagious unvaccinated people were able to spread COVID-19 um, to quite a number of folks, both visitors and residents. The good news is that because we have such a high vaccination rate, uh, you know, really, these are broadly mild and moderate symptoms here. You know, look, you might be pretty sick, but if you're vaccinated, you know, your risk of serious illness, hospitalization and death is, is very, very low. Um, but certainly, I think being a place that welcomes so many people from across the country uh, and certainly in the world, we're able to do that. Um, this has been a, a challenging moment uh, for a community really that has come through COVID until now with very low cases um, earlier in the pandemic. Yeah, and I know, and, and, but let's talk about the, the national impact on all of this, because as I mentioned, a lot of the folks that were there that got breakthrough COVID were in fact vaccinated. Should cities like yourself right now, knowing that, um, say, have a limit on who can come in or, or cap on different events? I know there's a big party weekend in Fire Island this weekend with a lot of vaccinated people. They might have a cluster. So in Provincetown, this isn't our first pandemic. We lived through the AIDS epidemic um, and we're a real welcoming community, right? So, so I don't like to say, hey, look, you can't come to town regardless of who you are, regardless of what your status is. I do think, though, that some really common sense precautions really make sense. Look, if you want to go to a nightclub or a bar, I think it's perfectly reasonable for, um, you know, the owner of that establishment to have a requirement to look for proof of vaccination. And actually, in one of our largest venues in Provincetown, actually had been doing that since we had reopening in, in early June. So those sort of measures, I think, make a ton of sense. What we need to do in Massachusetts, right? Massachusetts, we're very well vaccinated. Our visitors to Cape Cod, broadly about 80% of our visitors are from New England, New York, New, York, New Jersey. Um, they sort of track, they parallel track with our vaccination rate here in Massachusetts. What we've got to do is make sure we're giving more tools uh, to businesses and to people to keep themselves safe. And I think it's perfectly reasonable, particularly if you want to go to a pretty high, you know, an activity, a venue where social distancing mm -hmm. just isn't possible, asking for those vax cards. You know, look in Massachusetts, I'd really like us to see one of these, um, you know, applications like we have yep. in, you know, New York and California with these Excelsior passes. But I think that's that's the approach for Massachusetts. Julian, we just heard from the Alabama governor who said, you know, it's irresponsible for people to not get vaccinated at this point. Do you think from some of these lawmakers and leaders, it's too little too late? You know, look, I, I think every little bet helps to get folks vaccinated. Um, you know, clearly uh, there was some pretty uh, irresponsible behavior, um, you know, across the country among the Republican Party and others really not in promoting this sooner. Uh, but from a New England and Massachusetts perspective where, you know, we really don't have this problem here. Our biggest challenge, honestly, I'm worried about reaching unvaccinated immigrant workers. That's my concern, but certainly I'm glad to see Governor Ivory and others um, finally really pushing vaccination. I got to be quick here, but say I'm unvaccinated. I am vaccinated. I'm unvaccinated and I want to come to province down. Do you tell folks who are unvaccinated? Please don't. No, if you're unvaccinated, look, you know, if you're a child under 12, you're unvaccinated. And, and, and Province Towns and Destinations, the second visited destination on Cape Cod after our national seashore. If you're unvaccinated and you come to Province Town or anywhere on the Cape and Islands, okay. please, please, please wear a mask, social distance, follow us, public health precautions, help okay. allow us to, to stay open and, and stay safe.